So here's a quick video covering the functionality of the panel loop presets unofficial ZBrush plugin version 1.0. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I have this model here loaded in. And this model is just broken into two polygroups. Now after you have the panel loop presets plugin installed, just simply navigate up to your Z plugin tab here and then open up the panel loop presets plugin and you'll have a button here that says panel loop presets. Now this plugin will allow you to store multiple panel loop presets so you can load them at a later time. So in the geometry tab over here, you have this whole area that is used for creating panel loops on your model. So if you have a model broken up with polygroups and you simply click the panel loop button, it will generate a panel loop effect in between those two polygroups. So this plugin allows you to save the values you have over here and then store them as presets to load at a later time. So if you have your model in here, we can go to the Z plugin tab up here and we can simply click the panel loop presets button. So when this opens up, you'll get a bunch of panel loop presets through here. And these were created by Chi Vang. And he does a bunch of hard surface modeling inside of ZBrush. And so he came up with the initial idea for the panel loop presets plugin here and also supplied these great panel loop presets that you can come through and select. So to select one of these presets and apply it to your model, you simply just need to hover over one of these images and then simply click, and this will apply it as a preview to your model. So when you click it, you're going to get this little window that's gonna pop up, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna accept the preset. So if you're happy with how this looks on your model, you can simply click yes. If you do not like this preset, you can come over here and click no, and this will bring you back into the panel loop preset menu here, and now you can select another preset and see it applied to your model, or you have the option to click cancel. So let's say you like this preset, but the preset is a little bit too thick. So if you click the cancel option now, instead of going back into the panel loop preset plugin, it's going to keep your values over here that you had from that preset, and now you can come through and say change the thickness here, and adjust it to your liking, and then run it manually, and you're gonna get the same effect, but with a thinner thickness. So those are the different options when accepting a panel loop preset. So you just open up the plugin, click the preset that you want, and then you have the option of yes to accept what you see here, no to go back to the menu, and then cancel to keep the values, but this is gonna allow you to change them before you click the panel loop button. So those are the different variables there. Now, if you have a custom preset that you wanna store, you can do that as well. So let's say I come over here and I like this panel loop, but I wanna adjust the curve a little bit, maybe change the elevation, try that out. And I wanna generate a preset that looks like this now. So I wanna store this preset. So after you have the values you like set over here, we can now go back to the Z plugin, open up that panel loop preset again. And then underneath each one of these presets, there's an option called replace preset. And this is going to take what you have over here for your desired result and then store it into the preset. So let's say I wanna take this one I just created and I wanna replace this preset here. So to simply replace a preset, just come over here and find which slot you wanna replace and then click replace preset. This is gonna pop up and it's just gonna tell you that this process cannot be reverted. So I'm pretty sure I wanna replace the panel loop for slot number one. So I'm just gonna hit yes. And then you'll get one more dialogue here, and this is just gonna tell you your project has been changed and asked if you wanna save changes. At this time, I'm just gonna click no. Now, after you click no, it's going to process this, and it's going to generate a new icon based on the panel loop settings you had stored over here, and then update this preset right here. So you see now I have a nice icon here depicting the settings I had here for the panel loops, and now I have a new preset. So now I come through and let's say I wanna apply this preset now. I can just click on this and it's going to apply that preset. If I don't like it, I can hit no and pick another preset. And so you just come through and store panel loop presets like this and then use them at a later time. So that is the main functionality of this plugin. So I wanna thank Chi Vang for helping out with this plugin and also generating these awesome panel loop presets here for the defaults. And if you have any other questions regarding this plugin or you run into any bugs, uh, just please let me know and I'll try to get them fixed.
So I hope that helps and happy ZBrushing.